everyone. I'm Adam Harry with... JR! We're both from Bell of Lost Souls, and today we are taking a look at the brand new Space Marine Adventures... Labyrinth of the Necrons. Beep, boop, beep, boop. This is a two to four player... Sorry, one, one to four, four player. player. Yeah. A uh, kind of co-op-ish game for ages eight and up. Uh, and it's it's a quick game, 30 to 45 yeah, minutes. It's it's super quick. Uh, comes with a bunch of easy to build marines. Uh, as you can see, you will be fighting. Uh, you play as space marines. You play as space marines, fighting even easier to build necrons. Yeah, they're punches. <laughs> uh, in in a, a, a bunch of tiles. Let's. Um, there's not much else to say about it. There's not much else one. to say about it. It's a quick, fast-paced game of co-op fun, uh, which is a great way to introduce someone to the world of fantasy and sci-fi games. Welcome like, to Warhammer. Welcome to Warhammer. That's right. just a catalog. That's a catalog. This is the instruction reference we'll, rules. We'll come back to that. Here are the easy-to-build Necrons. I Boom. built a warrior. Boom. Hey, watch this. I'm going to build an immortal. Oh, I'm going to build uh, whatever this Lich thing. Guard. Lich Guard. I, I built it. Oh, I'm going to build their... Uh, is that a... Uh, Tomb, Tomb King? Let's no, wait, see. wrong game. Uh, oh! <laughs> anyway, they're punch outs, you guys can clearly see. Yeah. Uh, also, this, these, I don't know if these are tiles they, they or are tiles. tiles. They are tiles. So they, they pop out, everything pops out as you can. Yeah, because you're, you're building the, the, yeah. uh, tomb. Oh, oh, oh. Of the Necrons. Yeah, look, oh. Oh. Okay, so you've got okay, these different so, tiles. So these there's, a, there's a lot of different ones in here. Ooh. They kind of line up. Line me up, Scotty. So you can, you can find ways <laughs> to put them together. That's like a hub. Uh, yeah. But they're all wow! I think they are all different. Yeah, maybe they, they are all different. I mean, subtly, like yeah, it's the same basic uh, pathing, but you can tell they're all they are different. They so. are all different. That's, that's cool. cool. That's cool. And then okay. then you've okay. got those things to kind of link them together. Right. These are the stairs essentially. And these say don't open, so I'm gonna pop open one of these. Well, these are clearly for the different d difficulties. We have level one, level two, and level three. And then advanced. advanced. Do not open. So I have a feeling that's just going to be the, the the decks. We'll come back to those. Also in here, we got. I'm an got... open one. I'm just saying it told. Do the me... open the level one. It tells me out. not to, so I'm going um, to. I have a, a a baggie here, which I'm assuming is probably for the tokens. So you reach in here and pull some tokens out, uh -huh. or dice or whatever. Uh, and then we've got the different marines. Now these different marines are colored plastic, as you can see. They are dyed differently. This is going to be. The Imperial Fist Marine. Yeah. And we've got the, the Ultra, Ultra Marine. Marine. And again, these are different models. Uh, new new sculpts, new ish sculpts. They might have been, I think it might have these been the, the Space Marine Heroes. The, they are based on the Space yeah. Marine Heroes. There's the Death Guard. Oops. No, that's the uh, Sally Moon. Yeah, that's what I. That's definitely not a Death Guard. <laughs> Salamander. Salamander. Uh, Blood Angel here. Uh huh. Yep, different characters again. Pretty cool. And then cool. Uh, Space Wolves. First, oh, his, his base popped out. His base was like a Necron. He was easy to build. Boom. <laughs> and then, of course, Space Wolves win that cool looking gray. I like these because they are easy to build, but they're also color corded, so you can just figure out who you are pretty much by looking at the different colors. Uh, dice, again, you get five dice. Uh, guess what? They match the, uh, the Space Marines there, so we've got that going for us. Baggies. Now, if you are not you know. an avid board gamer, you don't understand how Important awesome this is. this is. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, the fact that they included some extra baggies may not seem like a big deal, but if you've got a ton of board games, it's actually kind of nice. And a box that says open now, so I'm going to do that. Right. Uh, and that's everything in the box. JR is popping open other stuff. I'm breaking rules he's and breaking following rules them. rules at the same time. I'm, I'm going to flip through the instructions here while he's okay. doing that. We're going to zoom in and take a quick look. So what's in the book? What's in, the book? what's in the book? What's in the book? Alright, we got all that's everything that's there. Yeah. yeah, the reinforcement bag, as I feared, was for the Necrons. You put the tokens in the bag and then, that's then you popping draw out. them, yeah. Um stairwell tiles, we talked we looked at those. Labyrinth boards. Again, this is called the Labyrinth of the Necrons. So shocker. That's what you're doing. Uh, you've got Necron cards, you've got your activation cards, because every space marine's gonna have things to do. And you've got your... We've got the Open Now pack, which is probably going to have all of these... Yep. Yep. All the characters. There's one side of it. A couple it. of different decks. Yep. And then you've got, yeah, Cassius and all his stuff. Uh, oh, Brother that's cool. Infernus. So, oh, yeah. Because, yeah. Okay, okay, we'll them. keep going, we'll keep going. You've got the Necron Overlord. Ooh. Uh, and you've got... Oh, oh, because these, yeah, you, you determine what order you, you activate them right. in. Right. These are all going to be the it's same like an bags. Initiative, it's like an initiative thing. Initiative yeah. deck. There's Brother Grimm. 
And then a whole bunch of Necrons. This is right there, activation cards, yep. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Th those are the deck of cards that you're gonna use to play the game. Uh, this game looks super simple to play. Uh, you set up, you're, you're gonna be on one of those starting, you know, staircases. Yep. You deploy your Marines. You populate the labyrinth, which is gonna involve pulling counters and rolling, probably rolling a dice. Uh, or sorry, place warrior men encounters on each of the six numbered uh, translocation on the board, uh, and then there will be rules to bring in reinforcements. That's these guys. Notice how they have numbers. I, I think I know where, where this is going. Uh, prepare the labyrinth deck. So you start with level one, which JR has opened, even when he wasn't supposed to. So it's not open. Uh, and then you're gonna you're gonna play through, and we're gonna, yeah. And so you can see it's the Labyrinth deck, and it just includes things like uh, Necron reinforcements. Pull, pull a Necron out and, and uh, put him on the counter. And that's most of them, but you might also get things like an Invasion Beam, yeah. where uh, you get uh, 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 minions showing up on different uh, translocation squares. Yep. You get reanimation protocols, where, uh, where warriors are tougher, and uh, you get more things. Yeah. So, and then, oh, a, a chrono field. The next chrono space marine. Field. Oh, this one's sad. The next space marine who has a turn skips their turn. Womp, womp, womp. Uh, space marines have their own actions here. Move, attack. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, can I see one of the space marine cards real fast? Sure. Here, let's look um, at Cassius here. Cassius. Uh, range four, actions four. I'm assuming uh, moving and attacking are each going to be one action. Mm -hmm. Uh... Chainsword, add one to the dice roll made for the sergeant for Sergeant Cassius when he attacks a Necron in the square adjacent to him. So his melee attacks get a little bo little boost. And then that's when he's wounded, you flip it over, same deal. They're slightly different card values. But uh, this kind of goes through everything. Moving's going to be, is it squares? Move your space marine one square on the board. Yep. Can't move diagonally through Can't close portals diagonally. or through Necrons. Okay. Yeah. It's a space wall. It's a space Hulk esque, actually. Yeah, it is. It is. Then, of course, there's the the Necron reinforcements who do their things. We talked about that kind of already. Again, this is a solo, so one to four player game. So that's what the deck's for, because it's going to basically be your AI deck for the right Necrons. for for the Necrons, and yeah. it kind of powers the game. You've got some advanced rules in there. Uh, you've got level two and level three. Lair yeah, level two is to... the elite guard, and level three is Lair the Overlord. And that's where you go take you out do the Overlord. Campaign play. And then, of course, you can take all of these guys and yep. you can and use them in your is, It is one to four players, and you get five Marines, so you get a little bit of variance there. A little bit there, of flexibility. Kind of and then, of course, your next steps if you want to keep keep going. Uh, that's everything here. There's a fast rules reference there for you, so you can see everything. Uh, Space Marines getting wounded. Um, and then, uh, yeah, if you get wounded twice as a Space Marine, you're taken out. So... Dun, dun, dun. Cool. Well, yeah, that's that everything in there. Everything in the game. Really. Yeah. Uh, that's that's Space Marine Adventures. Yeah. It's pretty easy. A super straightforward game of, uh, that, that kind of is like, okay, let's let's play in the 40k world and have some fun, good times. Yeah. Uh, if if you are uh, if you like this kind of squad based game uh, yeah. and and uh, can't get your friends to play uh, 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 um, with you, you can play it by yourself. Yeah. What's cool about this again? It is. Ages eight and up, 30, 45 minute games, one yeah. to four player co op. Yeah, super so great way you, to introduce. If you got kids or or friends with kids and you guys want to play some some 40k or some play a game set in the 40k universe, great intro game. Well, and it's, and it's, it's cooperative super too, easy which to is learn. which which yeah. makes it super fun. Yep. Because you're all being friends until someone, until someone betrays the party. you. All right. Anyway, all right. I'm Adam Harry. I'm Jr. We're both from Bell Lussels. Thank you for watching. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.